If you see an approximately waist-high railing, stand close and press the action button. You will climb over the railing and hang down from the other side. front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hein D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? 
Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Mm, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with 556ers five and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. surveillance camera.
under Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. <laughs> don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that are not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. <laughs> Thank you. 